Hi, this is Jim Janesey. I'm just taking this opportunity to introduce you to a small part of GPH 205, Historical Foundations of Visual Technologies. This is a course I'll be conducting in the spring 2010 term here at DePaul. The uh, in-class session of it, that is the in-class section, will meet on Thursday afternoons in the loop. But there's also a purely distance learning section, which I'm constructing at this point to be a very interesting educational experience. It won't require any classroom attendance. It'll cover exactly the same stuff that the in-class section does, but you have the flexibility of doing the work at any time uh, during the two-week units into which the course is divided. So the course is set up in both in-class and the distance learning formats to be uh, five two-week units. Each unit is self-contained and all the work for the unit is due in that unit. That provides a tremendous amount of feedback and there's no midterm exam in the course. There is a final exam. We'll be arranging that. There's a few papers, short papers that you write. And uh, mostly though, the readings which come from a very economical uh, art history book, a very standard text, lots of colorful pictures and such, easy reading, uh, that costs only $20 at Amazon. There's a workbook that I wrote myself for this 10-week course, and that costs about $20 or $25. That contains essentially all of the work that we're going to be doing. And most of the course is based on the readings as well as videos that you'll be watching through the Blackboard website. So it's a very interesting educational experience. I've conducted this class for the last four years. People have generally enjoyed it a great deal. And it's a very enjoyable way to fulfill one of your understanding the past liberal studies requirements, uh, which uh, is one of the 12 courses that just about every undergraduate has to take here. So if you haven't yet fulfilled your history requirement, that is the two historical courses understanding the past, this does fulfill the intercontinental requirement for one of those. I hope to uh, see you in the spring term if you uh, feel like taking this course in either version. Hope you have a very good spring term.